Adam Alley with Alley's Organics. Many of our summer containers have lost their vibrancy and it's time to replant with some brilliant fall color and we'll show you how. First things first. One thing that we want to have is our planting container. Whatever you choose. There's so many choices. This is an old coffee tin that makes a great little planter. A little tub. That's kind of cute too. Pop a hole in these though so that they drain well for you because you don't want stagnant water. Ceramic pots are always good choices. And even wooden crates make cute little planters too. Make sure you have a good planting medium, a good potting soil. One that has some fertilizer in it is always a good choice to get going. Gather those and we'll be on our way. Whatever pot you decide to take, if it's small enough, you might want to take it to the nursery with you. That way you get a feel for exactly what's going to fit in it. Four inch pots for something like this are going to be fine. And probably three is going to be max. This is a little polka dot plant. It's kind of a pretty little color for fall. And it would be your thriller. And this is a ornamental oregano. And you could kind of squeeze these in the pot like this just to kind of get an idea. This would be your spiller. This is an ornamental oregano. This one's a hookah and it gives you a nice bright green color. And that would look pretty in there as well. Don't be afraid to play with the plants at the nursery. That way you know exactly what you want. A bigger container. This here is still pretty cool to be putting in as your, as your spiller. And here again, we could use the hookah, And then we can add a traditional flowering cabbage in there. Doesn't that look cute together? Another really bright, colorful color for fall that works really good together is echinacea. And look, that bright yellow goes really well with it. That's a Rebecca, prairie sun. And then this Lobelia, that's really pretty together. They're all tall, but they work together. And then putting something that spills over the edge, like this sweet herb, and it's edible too. That looks really cute. You could even go a little bit further and put a grass in there if you wanted to. Okay, we picked out our pot and our plants. We have our potting soil, so we're ready to plant. We picked a nice fall color. We thought it would be really cool with these colors of plants that we picked. Fill your pot up at least halfway to where we can start arranging our plants. Once you get to the depth of your pot, then they can just sit in there and you can kind of see how they look and arrange them from there. I picked the sweet herb, the Aztec sweet herb, because I like the way it falls over and cascades, plus it's edible. This will be our spiller. I also picked the Scarlet Boar Kale. It's edible too, and it's got a pretty fall color. It's kind of traditional. Autumn Colors Rebecca, because it's so much like autumn. And then Electric Lime Coleus gives us a bright color. Okay, we're not following the rules here. There's four plants. Typically you plant in odds, but I think it looks pretty good. Now it's time to fill in the gaps where we're missing soil. Don't leave any air pockets. Use your hands to kind of push the soil around. You don't want to heap your soil because then when you water, the water just repels right off of the mound and it actually doesn't get in the pot as good. And it makes a mess. Okay, that looks pretty good. If you want, you can take your tags so that you don't see them and then just put them all together and then put them deep on the side in the back where nobody can see them, but you can remember what your plants are that way. Now it's time to water this in. Once you've watered your planter, 
a lot of times the soil settles. So go ahead and put more potting soil in those low spots at this time. And to keep this looking nice through the fall growing season, make sure that you deadhead any flowers that need to be. And don't forget to keep the soil moist. And most important of all, you want to make sure that you use a liquid bloom fertilizer. This keeps everything vibrant and flowering all the way through the growing season. Now it's time for you to go get your fall planter planted. I'm Allie with AllieOrganics.com. Happy gardening. Mm -hmm.